certainly values like uh, liberalism and democracy are under threat. I think it's a long historical run that's got us here. A growing evidence of an economic model that doesn't work and doesn't deliver economic security for all. Long-run crises like climate and a, a, a more recent sense of unfairness and justice piling in on top of this around issues like global handling of COVID and this sense uh, of a world run by a certain group of older powers whose power is also declining, but who are kind of clinging on and demanding that their priorities shape the world's priorities. So a very strong sense of the injustice of the current order uh, and the double standards that are seen as permeating it was already there by the time Ukraine and the conflict in the Middle East came in on top of that. The problem with the institutions like the United Nations, World Bank and others created uh, after the Second World War is they are in a crisis, a crisis made by the times and therefore in some ways it's hard to sort of sort of pull them free of the times we live in, times of geopolitical confrontation and stress, and reboot them uh, and make them relevant. They are captives of a confrontational politics between China and the US, uh, between the North and the South. And, you know, I think parts of them uh, will make their way through and remain useful and relevant, as happened indeed during the Cold Cold War, when you saw a lot of humanitarian activity by the UN, but not much political activity. I think we may say see something similar now, and the challenge is to build on that and make sure that in areas like climate uh, and perhaps new areas like artificial intelligence, there is a robust multilateralism. We did a survey called the Open Society Barometer, and one of the striking things is the most enthusiastic multilateralists in the world live in Africa. Um, and it's because, you know, a continent which is resource rich, but has lacked the capital to exploit that, which has been, however, exploited itself across several of the modern centuries and has had its share of weak institutions and civil wars. You know, recognizes the value of international collaboration as it seeks its own agency to direct its own future. Uh, and, you know, it, it in a sense stands for uh, the values of multilateral collaboration and partnership and mutual respect. Whereas, you know, many other parts of the world are either enjoy a certain sort of independence from the mainstream parts of Latin America have always been a bit jaundiced about multilateral institutions being able to deal with their own futures within their continent, if you like. Uh, and in other regions which took the system for granted and implicitly thought it was theirs, largely the countries of the West, you know, are now, you know, disaffected because the system's slightly woken up and bitten them because, you know, it's not delivering their order anymore. Uh, the world order is becoming a much more complex, diffuse thing. And so, you know, the UN stands at, at the heart of these sort of multiple uh, crises. And, you know, I think the only other thing I'd say is in our polling, the, um, you know, the one thing that does come through is a deep respect for democracy amongst people, a disappointment with its delivery, uh, but from China to Africa to Europe to America, and indeed Latin America, a view that, you know, the preferred system of government remains democracy, but, but, but it's got to deliver, and younger people particularly are increasingly skeptical that it will deliver.